I got a new PC guys, so I'm swapping from fast graphics to fancy graphics. Oh damn Steve, you looking good. People wonder if FPS, monitor hurts, and PC specs in general make a big difference when you're doing things like playing games, multitasking with music, editing videos, and so on. In this video, I'm going to compare an old computer that's about 10 years old to a relatively high-end new one. To start off, we'll go right for the graphics. So this is my new computer that I use now, 60 frames per second, 1080p, pretty good but not being pushed to its limit since I'm only on Minecraft. Now if I go to my old PC, you can tell just barely that the graphics are a bit worse. The frames here might have dropped to 59, maybe even 58. If we go into something different like Dungeon Defenders, you could really see the new graphics flourish here. And on the old PC, it just looks a little bit tacky to me. You might not be able to notice it, it's a subtle thing for long time gamers, but if you zoom in on the corner, you can see there's a pixel off here and that really ruins the gameplay for me. In Minecraft, the loading screen into the end is just refreshingly fast. And back to the old computer, you see I can barely even tell that that's a crafting table. Now this is more so the speakers that I had, these ones did a pretty average job, no point showing it, it's exactly what you'd expect. Now for my new PC I got these $4 speakers from Kmart, and the thing about cheap speakers is they don't bother limiting the volume to safe levels. The age old question, will a gaming PC make you better at PvP? Let's find out. Cebu has made the mistake of challenging me in the poisonous potato collection, and I'm gonna go about this war the way I think all real life wars should be fought. The presidents of each country get into a ring and live stream a fight to the death. No innocents die, so I will be happy, and most importantly, Dwayne the Rock will always win and eventually rule the world. Cebu, I have gone behind your back and swindled you out of some poisonous potatoes. However, I am a generous warlord and will give you a chance to win half of them back. We are going to play classic duels, best of 101. I uh, was sorry, what? Yeah, I don't know about this whole war thing. Seems like a bad idea to me. <laughs> Did you know in World War One, London sent 1,000 double-decker buses to the front line? Okay, obviously this game mode is garbage, we are changing. Ah, this is the one for me. I, one. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't have died if I had Dream skin on. Oh, come on, my RGB blinded me! Did you know that after World War One, there was such a lack of men, only one in three American women could find a husband? So another war could cure the current simp epidemic. Alright, fine. It's come to the ultimate test of skill. Build battle. Build a motorbike. My motorbike's gonna have red dragon wings coming out of it. That, that looks pretty good, right? Oh, uh, the moped? I got, I got 12th. <laughs> I got last I got, place. I got 11th. <laughs> what did you give me? <laughs> So we both lose, but he did win more than me, so he gets a few stacks of enchanted poisonous potatoes. See, he wants to make a bunch of videos about this war, getting him tons of views, us going back and forth, upping each other's potato count, but I could end it all now by just kinda... throwing all of mine away. Say goodbye to your content, that's what you get for beating me in PvP! When my old computer boots up, it sounds kinda... Uh, I don't really know what's going on in there. This is the sound of my new computer booting up. While this one is running, it's a little hard to hear yourself think, but I'm pretty used to it by now. Then if I open a Chrome tab, it gets a little worse. This PC has 57 tabs of Rick Astley open, and the sound of the PC is positive affirmation. I am a part of the greater whole. Some people care about how it looks. I'm not really one of them, but I'll still show you. You can see all the RGB in there, and it all looks fancy and stuff. The old one doesn't look too much worse in my opinion, but some people really care about that sort of thing. You can see the new one has six USB slots on the back, and you're just not gonna find that with the older version. Now in this category, my old computer wins hands down. You can just chuck it in the dirt here, and the plants will give it enough power to run anything. However, my new PC is actually hooked up to three car batteries. I had to install a ventilation system in my room for the smoke that's given off, and I have an acid burn all along my arm, but it's really worth having those 57 Google Chrome tabs open all at once. I'm actually installing a texture pack for Minecraft right now, so I've got this gas burner I need to hook up. You'll need to replace this every couple of weeks. It's actually not a bad idea to invest in a thermonuclear reactor to put in your basement, just in case you want to install some more RAM. I've actually got three children on hamster wheels next door powering my gaming mouse, but I won't show you that for their privacy, I'm a respectful person. You see, the only reason I used to be worse than Dream at Minecraft is because my PC held me back. Now I actually have an advantage over him. Because I am used to high ping with 7 FPS, I have adapted to a tough environment. Now when I get back to the same playing field, I'm much better. It's like how all the best marathon runners in the world are from this one village, because they all live in the mountains with no air and have to run kilometers to school every day. There's no competition. So this is me doing my first speedrun on this PC. Just gotta start off by collecting some wood, now let me just... 
Activating hyper mode with second car battery. There we go. This is going well, but I think we need... Gamer music engaged. Energy from surrounding suburbs redirected into your computer. Usain Bolt has been kidnapped and chained to the hamster wheel. Meth administered to user. Woo! Writing your parents a goodbye letter for when you die from this run. 99% of humanity's fossil fuel burning is going to your PC. The other 1% is refrigerating raspberries, as it should be. Surgically implanting a third eyeball to see more frames per second. When will you let me be free? Let me be free, Dragoon. Time! Time! I did it! World record. So yeah, I, I think it really does help for this. We've talked about the inside of a computer, but not the other parts. I've already shown in another video that a mechanical keyboard can really boost your typing speed, but this mouse is actually also useful. We've got left click, right click, scroll, call in an airstrike, call made, execute made for not being fast enough. Now here's where it gets interesting. This computer cost me $20, and this one cost me $0. I actually traded for it with my kidney, my firstborn son, my neighbor's firstborn son, and the location of the Holy Grail. And yet I didn't get a version that has Windows activated. Moving on from physical PC specs, there are some more in-game things that will help. Texture packs. Using a fancy texture pack can make items stand out more, stop people commenting on the fact that you don't have one, and overall look nicer. The right texture pack can make any build look nice, just like the right Instagram filter can make any picture Tinder worthy. I know there will be a lot of questions about my specs, so I'll go through it here. The graphics card was shaped sort of like this. Uh, it had like a red wire coming out, um, out of here. Or actually, it might have been blue. As for fans, to keep this setup cool, I just grab these handheld fans and put it right next to the gas burner. I run these 24-7 to make sure my room doesn't combust, but they seem to have stopped working so I have 15 minutes to run to the store and get a new one before my room becomes Mustafa. If you want to know what CPU I have, just Google CPU, go into shopping, I think it's one of those. For my monitor, I have this old shoebox with a mirror inside of it, it's really helpful, has high resolution, and I can use it to see around corners when I'm driving. I do know that I already have quite a lot of RGB, but I wanted a bit extra, so I installed floodlights that really help with the atmosphere of the room. It also scares anyone else from ever entering. If any of my friends tried to rescue me from this rabbit hole of buying computer parts, this will surely scare them away. I then serenade my computer to sleep every night so that it rests well. Action house! I mean, after all of this, I've probably set something up wrong so it's gonna break in a couple days. Like, I don't know where this tennis racket's supposed to go. It also came with a Chinese child. I don't really know what to do with him. I mean, I've probably also set something wrong in OBS so it's recording like 140p or something. I'm gonna ruin the video. I'll try to edit it and post so that it looks really fresh and new. I always wanna bring you guys the freshest and cleanest quality content because as we all know, the quality of a joke actually increases the more pixels are on your screen. And I think I'm gonna start recording my monitor with my phone so that it's being double recorded and then I just put one over the top of the other so I get double the resolution. This was actually the technique used in Avatar to get the 3D effect and that made a billion dollars. 